What's going on everybody? This is Dave from Steel City Jones Flight Academy. Today, we're talking about remote ID. What is remote ID? And how does it affect equipment that's already on the market and how is it going to affect us in the future? So to start off with, we have a number of different videos on remote ID that you want to go check back into that. We're not going to get really too deep into that, but I will explain what remote ID is. So to start off with, in March 2021, the FAA came out with a finalized rule set for a remote ID program. That's going to include that all drones by 2024 are going to be required to have remote ID technology on their drone. And if they don't, that drone will have a lot of limitations to it as to where it can fly, how high it can fly, how far away it can fly from the remote pilot, etc. So there's a lot of things like that that are coming up on the horizon. So what is remote ID? Basically what it is, it is technology on a drone that's going to allow the drone to broadcast to a cloud server on the internet its location, latitude, longitude, how high it's flying, and who's controlling it, and where is the remote controller that is controlling it. So that is technology that's coming, that's going to be coming out here. Why is remote ID coming out? You know, there's a lot of companies out there that have, are, are very heavily invested in drone deliveries and they want to start using them. So the FAA has put this on a fast track as a roadmap to get this in place because this system like this is going to need to be in place for drone deliveries. And that's kind of where we are with this. Now, the golden question is, what equipment on the market today currently is compatible with remote ID? The answer is nothing, unfortunately. Uh, yes, that is not good news for anybody. So currently right now, there is no drone on the market that is compatible with remote ID. So what do we do if we have equipment right now that we need to use in three years? Well, again, it, there's nothing concrete as to what I can tell you because we really don't know what manufacturers are going to do. Now, we believe there is, again, there's a lot of speculation that there are going to be companies out here that are going to offer retrofit kits that we can put technology and equipment on our current drones that will allow at least to be compatible on some level with Moon ID that we can start and continue using them. So, but right now there's nothing available for it. And I know we, I get a lot of questions. People say to me, well, look, it says remote ID on my app. I, I see something called remote ID. Now that is nothing in relationship to what the FAA is going to expect drones to have in, you know, in 2024. So unfortunately, I know that some things do, do on the app say remote ID, but it's nothing out there that's current that's going to be compatible to be able to be compliant with remote ID in the future. So hopefully that's going to change, and you know that will change. And you know, as a lot of people really view this, a lot of this stuff is in a negative way. And I really look at it in a, the opposite way, in a very positive manner, because when remote ID comes out, the drone industry is just going to explode. And that means there's going to be more companies out there making drones. There's going to be more options for us as consumers and or professionals in the commercial market as well. And more opportunities as well to grow in the drone industry. So I really view it as a very positive thing. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section. We'll answer them as they come up. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. And the more subscribers that we can get, the more content that we can offer you uh, more frequently. So thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.